well. I want us to take a short reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 127. It says, if God's grace doesn't help the builders, they will labor in vain to build a house. If God's mercy doesn't protect the city, all the centuries will circle it in vain. It's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night, toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough. Now God can provide. I want you to see this. It says God can provide for his devoted lovers even while this need. Now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here. And then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You were blessed and stay blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, change my story tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Father, I have come to you, the lifter of men, the one who can turn my life around. Pray, pray with faith in your heart. Pray with faith in your heart. Pray with faith in your heart. He that cometh unto God must believe, must believe, must believe. Turn my life around tonight. Let it be my miracle service. Let it be my miracle service. A night of encounter. A night of miracles. A night of activation. A night of breakthrough. Shabarakatosu breakages. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For some of you, your prayer tonight is, Lord, finish what you have started. The Bible says the hand of Zerubbabel. God is a finisher. He's called Alpha Omega. Some of you have seen Alpha. Some things have started. God, finish what you have started. Lift your voice and pray. Be Omega tonight in my life. Matosh Habarakatoskia. Be Omega tonight in my life. The hand of God that began to move me to the place of destiny. Lord, you are a completer. You are a finisher. You are a finisher. You are a finisher. You are a finisher. You have not called the seed of Jacob to seek you in vain. You will not bring us out of Egypt and not into the promised land. You will not bring us out of Egypt and deprive us of the promised land. Finish what you have started. What you have started in my life. Be a completer. Be a completer to
Hallelujah. Father, we are gathered tonight again with our hearts lifted to you, with our hands lifted to you. The psalmist said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. And he said, Whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. We cry, O oh God, that you show us your help tonight. In the name of Jesus, let the sick be healed. Let the oppressed be delivered. Let it not be as usual, O oh God, tonight. In the name of Jesus, let it not be as usual. Move upon our lives, move upon our destinies in a way and a manner that will leave a mark that will last for a long time. We give you praise tonight in the name of Jesus. A big welcome to someone by your left and right and please be seated. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. You're welcome to our June Miracle Service. God is already doing great things. Hallelujah. Those outside are following more than those inside. Bless you, those outside. Hallelujah. My spirit is fired up. You know, this anointing thing is a very... Um, I've had the privilege of walking in this anointing for a while. But it still marvels me how the anointing works. You know, we just returned not too long from a trip. And honestly speaking, I was so tired. So tired. I wasn't even praying for the program. I just said, Lord, grace. Grace for me. Let me be able to stand and minister. And as soon as I came, I sat down here. You know how you feel as though they gave you injections, steroids. That's it. Powerful how your life can be a marvel when you walk with the Holy Spirit. It can't be by might. It can't be by power. Hallelujah. Tonight my heart is indicting a good matter. Yea, I speak of excellent things. My tongue is like the pen of a ready writer. God is ready to write over someone's life. I truly came I truly came with my heart fired up and I pray that God will bless us. For those of us who are worshiping the first for the first time here, you are welcome. Be prepared for an unforgettable experience. Whatever they told you, they didn't lie. You sit back and watch the Holy Spirit shock you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Psalms 126 psalms 1 26 1 26 we're going to read three scriptures we're going to pray and we will cast out devils heal the sick speak over our destinies that's why we're here tonight no power will stop you listen let me tell you that you came here alone is a sign that victory brought you here you know most most people don't know how desperate satan is in stopping men from getting where the anointing is if you left even if your house is outside here if you left your house and arrived here successfully it's a sign that you were guided to be here hallelujah he said i desire once again to come to you but satan the wicked devil still hindering men from getting to their place of destiny when the lord turned again the captivity of zion he said we were like them that dream verse 2 then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing then said they among the heathen the Lord had done great things for them. The last verse, verse 3. It says, The Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. In fact, let's add one more verse, verse 4. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams of the south or the Negev. Let's go back to verse 1. When the Lord not if the Lord when the Lord that means that it is something that is for sure 
according to the law of times and seasons there is a season allocated the bible says when the lord turn again the captivity of zion when so it is for sure i don't know about you but for me it is for sure not if not if the lord when the lord turn again the captivity of zion the second thing i want us to observe from this exhortation is that captivity is real the bible did not leave us in ignorance as to the fact that even zion can be in captivity zion the city of the lord zion the place of god he said the captivity of zion there is something called the captivity not a captivity an exact kind of captivity he says when the lord restored the fortunes of zion restored the fortune the point i'm trying to communicate is that the word turn around talks of restoration the captivities of zion he said he did it in such a way that we were like them that dream you have to study someone who wakes up from a dream how many of you slept hungry and in the dream you saw a buffet <laughs> You woke up with the passion of that dream only to find out that it was a dream. But in that dream, there was no limitation. You could be in Lagos and be in Joss in one second. Realities that happen in the dream realm. Are we together? Physically, you knock, but in a dream, you can cross over to the other side. He said the nature of that restoration, it was in the similitude of them that dream. When the Lord turn again the captivity. So captivity is real. Notice he said the captivity. The captivity. There may be many kinds of setbacks. But there are a few that can hold a major. Um, it, can, it can yield a major blow to men and women in their lives. Listen. Not every operation of darkness affects you the same way. Is that true? There are times even physically you can have a little sprain on your finger and it may not affect you much. But there are times you can be down with typhoid fever. That one is a kind of captivity that can keep you down. So the Bible says the captivity. The captivity. The fact that you are the Zion of the Lord does not mean it should be strange as it were. God would have said when the Lord restored their captivity but he was honest enough to say it is the captivity, not of Israel, of Zion. Go and find out about Zion. It is the city of the great king. That even in heaven, it was not a shame that there was war there. So the issue is not the war. The issue is that there is a system for victory. The very fact that war could be conceived in heaven where God is, should almost be enough embarrassment war in heaven the fact that satan could even orchestrate it and it had could mobilize people where did they hold the meeting in heaven that god didn't see where did satan convince a third of the angels and there was war in heaven and there was war in heaven and all of a sudden michael the archangel rose up judged satan and there was no space for him but there was war that's the most important thing second shock and jesus died the word died the bible i love the fact that the bible doesn't hide some things and the word died and israel was in egypt read your bible and see how things that were not very comfortable happened and abraham the beloved of god abraham for 25 years was waiting and trusting for a child yet in genesis chapter 12 a prophetic word was upon him that in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed whoever told you that every time challenges stand before you is proof that you don't have faith it may not be true there was war in heaven where the fountain of wisdom resides 
there was war in heaven where the all-seeing eye of God, God does not see dimensionally. He filleth all in all, yet there was war. The first message tonight is a message of hope. Do not be ashamed. When you realize that there is something that is in the similitude of captivity in front of you. Apostle, I love the Lord with all my heart. But why are doors closed over my family? Last time I met someone, he told me that it is a shame. As many of us would say, it's an embarrassment to redemption. But the word died. The word was killed by men. Engineered by Satan himself. The word hung on the cross and he gave up the ghost. To give up the ghost means you were tired and your body could not take it again. The word died there was war in heaven we don't know what part of heaven but there was war in heaven but the thing is not the war it's not the captivity it is when the lord turned even if he did it once and you got into another trouble he can turn again 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 it wasn't just once God delivered them. Their lives were full of his deliverance. They would escape from some people before they rest. Another wicked nation will arise and God will turn again. Who told you he turns just once? That he did it in much miracle service. Don't you know that for every level you rise, there are still some kinds of giants waiting. He turned the one of March. Let him do the one of June too. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, he said we were like them that dream. Verse 2. Then our mouth, he didn't say then we laughed. Our mouth was filled with laughter. Like your mouth is filled with food. Our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the hidden. Come on breakthrough that unbelievers must talk about <sighs> breakthrough that even a herbalist would discuss and say even in our practice we have not seen this kind that God turns it around in a way and a manner that it must compel discussion you know if it is the Lord's doing it must be marvelous if it's a man's doing it's natural if it's Satan's doing is alarming, if it is the Lord's doing, it must be marvelous. He said, then said they among the hidden, the Lord. So they know. They know who can do that kind of thing. The Lord had done great things for them. The nature of that turning around is called a great thing. That even the hidden know that this dimension of result, it is the Lord. When Julius Berger builds road for you, they put a big symbol, B, bam, they stamp it. Is that true? So that when you are passing and you see the building, when you are in doubt, is it PW, is it this, you just see it. They put it there. This is our architecture. When you throw a block up and it falls down and does not break, you know where it came from. There is, when it breaks, you also know where it came from. So God says, I will not only do a work. If I do it generally, they can confuse it with your intellect. They can confuse it with one connection. I will do it in a way that no man, no man. It is not the miracle. It is how it is produced. God can reveal something to you by January and slowly bless you and by by june or july you can have it it will be difficult to give him praises because you say ah but come to think of it I, I read this book i applied principle abc so god says hold on let me show you how that your life can be recreated in seven days and then when he does it he says go and find which other god is able to bring that kind of salvation there were other ways israel would have gotten to canaan but God passed them through the Red Sea. When they got to the sea, they stood there. 
and God said, I want to do a work. I, it has to, you see, the glory is not in the result. The glory is the excellency of the method. That God does it in a way that even you, you stand in awe and say, Lord, I know you are a great God, but this one, no. Look what you've done to my mother in one month. Look what you've done to my ministry. Look what you've done to my life. There are miracles that happen in the Bible. Men try to argue it. But there were others the Bible said was a notable miracle. Listen, in this miracle service, God does not just want to bless you. He wants to bless you in a way. He wants to anoint you in a way. He wants to restore you in a way. The key word there is the way he will do it. Hallelujah. The way he will do it. You lost your ATM card and lost your wallet. You are already praying and say, Lord, raise me. And, or let somebody bring it. Then you go back to your home and find it on your bench. Now, that's not restoration. That's doing it in a way that only God would have done it. Are we together? By the time your enemy calls you with a seed and says, just to let you know that the God you serve, I want to serve him. That's not just salvation. That's salvation in a way that will make an onlooker know that this one is the finger of God. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. And they said among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for them. Verse 3, the Lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad. The Lord has done great things for us. Before we even started testifying, the unbelievers were already there. And then verse 4 says, turn. This is a prayer now. Turn again our captivity. That means a corporate people can be under captivity. Nigeria can be under captivity. A state can be under captivity. But they can cry and say, Lord, turn again our captivity. Like the streams. You know how you divert water? That when you are watering a garden or whatever it is, irrigation farming, that water can be going this way and you can block it and make it go this way. God is saying, my life was going this way. Turn my life around in a way and a manner that people say, ah, we already predicted that by next week you should be in the pit. What are you still doing here? And I'm standing here only because... And they say we even gossiped it we had concluded that when you are in the pit this is what we'll say we have written the testimony and while we were discussing we didn't know that God can turn again the captivity of a man many people don't believe God we believe our problems we are used to it that every time God speaks we just hope Faith is not hope. Listen carefully. Faith, Bible faith is not hope. It's not hoping God will do it. Faith is based on a revelation. God will convince you and tell you I am able to do it. And then activate your spirit through the revelation of his word for you to know that this thing is true. that God can turn a man's life around. I spoke, I was in Port Harcourt day before yesterday, yesterday we came back today and I spoke on something I wish I had the time to teach you. It was on Ebenezer, the mystery of help from God. Hallelujah. He said, my help comes from above. I don't know where your own comes from, but my help, my help, not our help, I lift up my eyes to the hills because that's where kings live. And in every hill and every palace, there is a system of protection. But uh, uh, this, this situation defies the help that comes from the hill. It says, my help cometh from above. Cometh from above. Cometh from above. 
sometimes when God wants to step in and help you he keeps quiet while everyone mocks you because mockery gives God glory he allows men to vent their foolishness and he says are you done he says now let me show you what happens when the creator of the ends of the earth decides to step in as a man if I like you there are privileges you can have when God gets up and dusts himself from his throne and decides to visit your case even you you will be shot are we together now that God can turn again the captivity of men I told you we are reading three scriptures scripture number two Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 5 Habakkuk chapter 1 ah my spirit is fired up oh God wants to visit somebody Habakkuk chapter 1 behold ye among the heathen notice that the heathen must participate in that process for God to be glorified he wants them to see he says and regard and wonder marvelously for I will walk a walk in your days which ye will not believe though it be told you there is something I would do that even you the recipient the only reason why you believe is just because you are the possessor of it but ordinarily <clears throat> I will walk a walk in your day there is something I can do in your life that I can do in your family that you will sit back and say my God God has done a few things in my own life that even as a man of faith I've had to sit down to say God I fear you God did something in the Red Sea that made Pharaoh look and say this God he is God God did something in Babylon that made Nebuchadnezzar he wrote a decree not to the people to God turn again captivity I will do a walk tonight I will change things your prayer point of years I will so answer it in a way that you will say Lord even if you answered it longer I would still be grateful but what, what is this and God says, I did it suddenly lest you think I am so weak that it will have to take a long time. <laughs> Last scripture. Isaiah 41. Ten solid verses we are going to read. Ten to twenty. Isaiah 41. God is turning things around. Turning things around. Turning things around. When your clock refused to move, you fix it. Because it was supposed to move. And if your life has been brought and tied to time, then like the clock, the clock is a revelation of how your life must move. When clock stops moving, you fix it or throw it away. If your life stays in one place, it's a mockery to God, it's a mockery to you, it's a mockery to all who are connected to you, that your life, like the clock, must turn. 41 from verse 10 to 20. Fear thou not. This is a word for somebody. For I am with thee. Yes, in the midst of the pain, the disappointment, I am with you. The threat letter, I am still with you. A man gave a testimony, I think it was just something to encourage you, but I'm not sure it's a real story. But he held the hands of Jesus from that story, I'm told, and they were walking together in a desert place. And then he got to a point where he noticed from the vision or so that there was just the footprint of one man alone and then in the end of it he turned and told jesus he said why did you leave me we i there were four footprints but i got to a point where i saw only two and jesus told him that was when i carried you the footprint you saw was not yours it was mine i knew that your strength had failed you in that desert so i carried you 
while you were crying not knowing you were carried on the wings of eagles you wouldn't have survived it fear thou not do you know why God starts by telling you fear not because the truth is that life can make you fear no matter how bold you are the speakings of men versus the obvious results that you see in your life or lack of it it can shake even the boldest of us and he starts by saying fear thou not for I am with you he said be not dismayed another word is disappointed he said for I am thy God I will strengthen thee yea I will help I will help thee I will uphold thee with my right hand of righteousness we are reading to 20 11 behold all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded he said they shall be as nothing and they that strive with thee shall do what that's where i got the scripture that anyone that fights you goes down instantly it says all day that okay let's let's just read 12. no no go go just just go back to two. thou shalt seek them and shall not find them even them that contended with thee they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. 13 for i the lord thy god will hold thy right hand saying unto thee fear not why because i will help thee don't trivialize the help of god don't when god tells you i want to help you rejoice when god says i want to help you is the same thing um this guy is locked up here he wants to come up but this is stopping him and I say I want to help you meaning I am stronger than him meaning I know something he doesn't know I want to help you he says fear not O warm Jacob Jacob you are weak I know why does he call Jacob a warm it's not an insult it's a description of your frailty fear not O warm Jacob and ye men of Israel I will help thee saith the Lord thy redeemer the holy one of israel reading to 20 15. behold i will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small thou shalt make the heel as chaff thou shalt find them and the wind shall carry them and the whirlwind shall scatter them and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel 17 when the poor and needy seek water and there is none and their tongue faileth for tests read it with me I the Lord stop stop when the poor and the needy when they get to a point where there is no hope of deliverance by them strength they know that by themselves and their strength they cannot bring deliverance the bible says i the lord will hear them i the god of israel will not forsake them 18. i will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of valleys and I will make the wilderness a pool of water. I will make it. I will make the wilderness a barren life. I will make the wilderness a pool of water. I will make a destiny that has no business flourishing. A pool of water and the dry land springs of water. Two more verses. 19. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar, the shatter tree the mitel, the oil tree I will set in the desert the fir tree and the pine and the box tree together fruitfulness 20 the last verse that they may see and know and consider or wonder and understand together that the hand take it higher for me sing me that song take it higher 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 guys be sensitive that or Lord Bagwaroso. Sing it just one time.
it cannot be done the holy one of israel had created it to create means to make out of nothing what needs to be moved should be moved what needs should be brought to be brought what is not there should be created 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 carry carry a, a potato wrap it somewhere make sure that there's no air there's nothing leave it there for a few days in spite of the fact that there's no air it will still rot and when you open the rot you will still see worms inside how they got there is a miracle that's the same way no matter how the enemy closes every access God says when did I start needing a runway when did I start needing ladder to come to the earth when did I start needing a loudspeaker for creation to hear me I am creator when God speaks it doesn't matter where it is even if the bones in the valley of Ezekiel are under the earth when his voice comes echoed by the voice of the prophet the bible says bone came out listen carefully if you don't believe what i'm teaching you are wasting your time here tonight take your eyes away from the mountains and say lord you are going to recreate my life there are things you will have to turn tonight around for me like the streams of the negev when you read further it says that those that 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 so in tears will reap in joy he didn't just say those that sow money you can sow prayer and he told you the prayer to pray turn again my captivity like the streams of the Negev in the last few months I have been so passionate about calling forth the creative power of God to assist men I am learning afresh again after many years that God can help men no matter who you are if God does not assist you start crying because life will beat you down to your knees and veto whatever you think is a basis of confidence he said some trust in horses and some chariots but we there is there are a group of people that would trust in the name of our God I trust God tonight to change our lives I trust God tonight to move in a way until it marvels you it is not yet a notable miracle scattered here tonight are men and women alongside the challenges and the obstacles that mock god in our lives we have come from far and near many of us made tremendous sacrifices the question is do you believe that this god that we serve that this God can choose by his wisdom and by his love and mercy to visit a family, to visit a man, that God looks at you and says, I have decided to come to you. I've decided to hold your hand. I've decided to lift you. I've decided to give you a testimony. God comes to a beloved sister and says, my daughter, they have laughed at you. Now they are ready to laugh with you like Sarah. I have come to uphold you. I have come to wipe your tears. I have come to prove to men that the rejected stone can become the chief cornerstone. 
You are called of God, but it's as if you are not called. No anointing, no results, no testimony. No one placing a demand on your grace. But something happens to you. God says, I'm coming to assist you. Hold my hands. God assists us by asking us to give him our hands. Do you know why? Because until your hand is holding him, he cannot move. You see, let me tell you this. Your hand holding him is proof that you trust that he will move. When your hand is still busy trying to walk it your way, you don't qualify for his help. When he wants to help you, he says, place your hand upon my hand. And you are now going to use your faith from hence, not your hand. Let me be the one using my hand to clear the way. Let me be the one to make a way in the wilderness. Let me be the one to make Pharaoh give you gold. I can give you gold by creating, but let's make a caricature out of Pharaoh. Pharaoh, you are the one who will give that gold. There is a name God is called, the Father of Spirits. Understand the revelation behind that name. Every human being is a spirit, he resides in a body. But God is the Father, the author. Every spirit hailed from him. It was out of his spirits that every spirit came about. And the Bible says he is the Father of Spirits. Meaning it is within his power to manipulate every human spirit to cause his purposes to come to pass any and every I spoke to a man this morning before leaving um, very touching the man stood he had been trying to see me and then at the airport he was there with his children and I looked at the man all his children one could not pay his school fees for four years final year had written his last exam but because of school fees they are taking him back to 200 level because he couldn't pay the poor girl, the daughter was there, the man was there standing, and I said, this is the signature of Satan. When Satan comes to your life, you can know he has a signature. He will stamp it on your family. Do your worst. He will stamp it on your destiny. Do your worst. Stamp it on everything around your life. And when God comes to, he will use his hand and erase it and said, let me put my own and see who, what devil will come to take it out of you I prayed for that man with all my heart I prayed for him passionately in that state of poverty and penury the children and the man they put together a seed I, I, I said can I ever accept this I, I collected the seed I prayed with all my heart and then I said look I, I place favor may your seed become a tray let me put something upon it for you it's called the favor of God. Go back with this anointing and let it turn your life around. That's the works of darkness. Some of us are seated here right now. Our loved ones are in such kind of chaos. Satan. When Satan does a thing, you don't need to ask who did it. He does it so clear that men will know it's his finger. Please don't confuse the works of darkness with the works of God. The works of darkness is darkness. The works of God is light. That's why we're here. To disagree with Satan and insist until we see his power prevail over our lives. Is God speaking to us tonight? The captivity of Zion. The captivity in your family. The captivity in your life. What is that obstacle that stands before you on the next level? You see it, but to touch it, it looks like there is a resistance. There is a limitation. We are going to pray. Are you ready to pray tonight? And then I begin to minister to you by the Spirit. Oh God, turn again my captivity like the streams of the naked. Lift your voice and cry. Believe me, brothers and sisters, when you pray, God hears you. Turn again the captivity. Break it, take him at the Bacata Baragadibo. Impata, break it, take him at the Gadabosa. 
Hallelujah. I like you to begin to mention by faith the things that must live your life this night, not tomorrow. Open your mouth and pray. Go ahead. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone sent a few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message. Please help those under the anointing there. A few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message to my phone. Out of seven graduates, nobody has ever been called for employment. Not even, not, I'm not talking of, I'm, I said, interview. Seven graduates, no one called for interview. And the gentleman, according to what he sent me, he said he went to bed in the night to sleep and he just slept and that's what he said he said he saw me in the dream i came and i prophesied it was like a koinonia service i laid hands on him and i mentioned the name of an organization that will call him true story he said he woke up physically with an alert from that organization to come for an interview now i don't know whether or not they have given him the job i don't know that part but that's god at work from a dream prophecy you wake up physically with the alert you didn't apply ah. listen listen don't let men fool you this god bar let me tell you when god decides to help you don't tell him how he would do it your ways his ways are higher higher than our ways his thoughts higher than our thoughts when when you see it's an act of faith to let god choose how to surprise you yours is to place a demand on his integrity by faith and let him choose how to rise and bless you you may be asking god for a cup of tea whereas he's coming with a hamper for you lord one cup of tea and i'm grateful and god says no if i give you a cup of tea man can also give you let me come with a hamper in a way that you will know this is me are we together three things i want to tell you we'll pray one more time number one god can act very fast he looks slow until he rises from his throne to help you listen to what i'm telling you don't get used to the fact that just because sometimes it looks like god is too slow god can act mysteriously fast i was watching a documentary i like watching documentaries um and on, on a, a, a national geographic channel and then they were showing how these animals all these these sea mammals how they eat one another and sometimes with lightning speed a giant creature can in fractions of a second just dissect another animal and i said wow so don't be deceived by the weight that it is a giant creature doesn't mean it is slow that your god is mighty that heaven is his throne and the earth is his full stool doesn't mean it would take him 10 years to bend down to touch you he can touch you from his throne and you will feel it from the earth god we're talking god here number one god can act fast so that you don't limit god and say lord i know you will act but um no problem no number two 
listen very carefully God can surpass your wildest imagination now it's difficult to understand but you must believe it God can surpass your wildest imagination he can he can so that it's good that you bring your petitions before him but that you allow your faith to expand to the capacity that can receive everything that God decides to give you and then number three Satan and all the limitations that stand before you listen carefully have been defeated not will be defeated have been defeated what happens in a service like this is an establishing of that victory It's difficult to understand but you must believe this because the reality of our circumstances will not allow us to believe this is a fact but it's true because it came from the mouth of God himself that it is finished verdict is what we have come to enforce so that you don't stand and look at the limitation that stands before you and now begin to ask yourself questions but how will God do this promise how is God going to do this if God does it this way there's already a blockage here if God follows this way it will have to be five years before it happens if God uses this method my uncle already hates me and God says you only gave me three methods I have methods as infinite as my names I can use anything I can use a fish to give you coins I can use a donkey to speak to you I can use a bird to bring you bread it doesn't always have to be men it just has to be material bodies I can use anything are we together so tonight as we pray why are we here you have to understand number one we are here we are here to clear the way the forces remember there will always be forces that contend against the word of God we are here to challenge them because most times those forces stand our way they contend with prophecy when the force that stands against your destiny is cleared away you will be surprised how sometimes within minutes your testimony comes number two we are here to allow the anointing of the Holy Spirit to produce possibilities in our lives the anointing of the Holy Spirit is his force is his instrument for producing change he creates by his anointing it is his word but that word must be anointed are we together now the word of God without an anointing on it for 30 years could not heal anybody could not bless anybody the word just roam around the streets of Nazareth but when the word became anointed it became Christos the anointed so the word of God is coming to your life I want you to be very sensitive whether it is the prophetic word whether it's an instruction to pray whether it is the deliverance session don't just watch people fall and roll and do all of that let your heart connect be angry there is an obstacle for sure you go to bed in the night and all kinds of strange spirits molest you you get up and say it's all right how can it be all right if it's all right who invited them to your life good things about to happen to you all of a sudden your enemies reach your destiny helpers before you and they give a bad word that closes your door recycles your pain again then for many of us what you need is that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will call forth the men the men component God helps by bringing men God can agree with you men can disagree you will still suffer God agreed for David to become king Samuel refused David remained in the wilderness until Samuel agreed men can stop your breakthrough it's not just demons men can stop your breakthrough and not all men are castable there are men who are gates even though they are hedonistic God doesn't cast them he gives you access to their heart when a man's ways pleases the Lord he makes even his enemies there are some enemies you can't drive because they are still gates are we together Lord I'm ready for you tonight lift your voice and pray
pray, Lord, I'm ready for you. Visit my family. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the Hallelujah, say hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. do the singing. I'm going to sing this song once. I want those who are under the anointing while I sing. This instruction God is giving me. This same song. You guys have done your good music. Let me prophesy now with it. You'll be surprised to see what will happen in here outside as I'm singing this song. If that anointing finds you as you come out here begin to rejoice because it is strange breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
bring them out. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. 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 No power can stand it. Glory to the Father. The forces must let you go. Hey, hallelujah. There's authority in the song that I'm singing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to my Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. They are leaving you now. They are leaving you now. I'm speaking by the Spirit. They are leaving you now. There are chains over you, leaving now. There are chains leaving you now. I'm ministering by the Spirit. There are chains are leaving you now. Even the lawful captives. Kabarakatos. Chains. I'm seeing chains breaking from the hands of men. Chains. Be broken. The worship team already prepared our hearts. I command the chains to be broken. By the authority of this kingdom. Be broken. Shabarakatos. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I'm commanding chains to break. Bring them out. The anointing of the Spirit is breaking chains over flow one, two, three online. Chains. Chains of captivity. All kinds of bondages. Every force of darkness. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. Release their destinies. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Now listen, God is giving me an instruction. Hold on. If there is any power associated with your family, you will know now by the fire that falls on you. This is what the Lord is telling me. I'm about to pray. That if there is anything that is demonic, responsible for the challenge of your family, get ready now. Because I see a wind of fire moving from this place right there. Outside. I declare it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the fire of the Spirit visit men and women and families now. Hold on. Listen, I'm still praying. Listen to me. The Bible says that Paul was at a place, it was cold in the night, and they put wood together. When they said that a viper was there, but it could not be seen, 
but when they set fire on the wood the fire exposed the viper i declare shabbatos katadia by the fire of the spirit by the fire of the holy ghost every viper hiding in any family hiding in any destiny be exposed now be exposed now be exposed now be exposed now every viper every snake scorpion hallelujah glory to the lamb glory to the father who was seated on the throne hallelujah glory to the lamb glory to the father you are seated on the throne hallelujah glory to the lamb glory to the father you are seated on the Where are the forces fighting your advancement? Forces fighting men's advancement. The Lord is judging them now. Judging them now. Judging them now. It's time for you to move forward. I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement i command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement overflow one lift your hands please everyone in overflow one lift your hands the lord is ministering to me overflow one lift your hands there is a mighty deliverance that is coming there at the count of three overflow one i want you to shout jesus as you shout jesus i'm seeing gates with chains breaking are you ready now one two three bring that lady that lady going back I'm looking at a lady but in the spirit I'm watching I'm not saying you're a bad girl my dear all I'm seeing is a serpent I'm not seeing a human being in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I expose that serpent now glory to the father you are seated on the throne hallelujah hallelujah I want to pray a very interesting prayer don't mind me just allow me I'm ministering under the anointing I'm going to say exactly what I'm hearing in the spirit and if it doesn't sound logical don't worry just let me do the prayer snakes be judged snakes be judged Snakes be judged. Snakes, serpents of the night, be judged. Serpents of the night, be judged. Serpents of the night, be judged. God is against you. Ebenezer, the helper of man, is against you. Snakes, I say it again. Be judged, be judged. No rest, no peace. Be judged. Snakes, be judged. 
I'm seeing a lady vomiting something. That's what I'm seeing in a vision right now. I don't know what it is I'm seeing, but in the name of Jesus Christ, God is releasing people. There is victory. God is helping people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing fire not impartation fire consuming people's head and god is saying is restoration of lost glory that's what i'm seeing restoration something that used to be in your life and all of a sudden faded away i'm seeing fire coming on people's heads where are they oh god i stretch my hands now let the fire bring restoration restoration Restoration, help them please. Restoration, Kando Soda Restoration. I command restoration of every lost glory. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. All those who are out in front under the anointing here i declare every legal grounds upon which any spirit is operating in your life at the count of three by the mystery of the blood it leaves you now one two three go 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 out of their lives in the name of jesus out of their lives when the blood speaks nothing else speaks again Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Elama Saba Sana Katoshia Magata. Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family here. And I'm seeing that the father in that family, I don't know if he's out of pressure but went to a herbalist and they gave him something to go and bury in the house he may not even know it this is something that happened a while ago and whatever it is seemed to backfire when it came to money issues he didn't go and pay like give the herbalist whatever it is that's what god is showing me now and i'm seeing that because of that every door in that family everything just closed i'm going to pray lord wherever whoever represents that family here whether inside or outside or online i'm praying right now by the mercy of the god of heaven whatever enchantment and activities of darkness invoked by those herbalists i cancel it right now in the name of jesus i cancel it right now in the name of jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. Rebecca, like Becky. Rebecca. Rebecca. I'm hearing a name, Rebecca. Rebecca. You are seated on the throne. Stand up. You are Rebecca. That's the person I'm talking about. Come. Stand up. You are seated on the throne. Madam, where are you coming from? You came from Abuja. Yes, I'm seeing you in a vehicle from Abuja yes, coming. You came I'm alone? I came with my niece. And my younger brother, my cousins, they live in Zaria. You, One came from Kano. My, you, but you came from Abuja? Yes, I came from What's Abuja. What's your name? Asma Rebecca. 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 Asma. Come. It's time for your victory. Lift your hands. There is. Let her go now. I command the spirit oppressing you. 
you have come to koinonia the place where God dwells in the name of Jesus Christ the power that fights you in the name of Jesus Christ this woman is going to return with very strange testimonies mama you are Rebecca I'll pray with you in the name of Jesus I prophesy to you the Lord has located you and end comes to your captivity in the name of Jesus hallelujah where are you from where are you from I'm from Samnaka please help this woman are they, are they, this mama are they Rebecca mama are you Rebecca huh? you are Rebecca mama okay this one too, I'm going to pray for you sometimes God gives a word and then I'm, I'm talking to you now my dear where are you from Samnaka state of origin region Kaduna. you are from Kaduna state yes. come I want to pray for you there's trouble in your family you are in need of the power of God desperately hold my hands father in the name of Jesus Christ I bring to end this captivity the lady that is going back tap her just tell her to look at me just look at me it's over now in Jesus name all of you are Rebecca my dear salvation is coming and anointing is leaving me to you and it's for your family from next month you will start hearing strange testimonies open doors mama you are Rebecca who else is Rebecca all of you are Rebecca I'm going to pray for you Kai, ma, I have to pray for you yes ma the spirit of death is following your family I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom I want to pray for you father in the name of Jesus Christ I lay my hands over our mommy help her please I command the spirit of death one of you here I'm, I don't know which of you but I'm seeing an anointing coming on one of you in front here there's one of you an anointing is coming on you um, the Lord is bringing deliverance right now you can't stand it it's, it's the power of God one of you an anointing is coming on you for strange deliverance Mama, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Hi. There's, there's serious witchcraft. Excuse me, just a minute. I command that spirit to leave this lady now. You must go. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. He, he who the Son sets free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ name of Jesus Christ um, this this mama doesn't speak English I think she speaks Yoruba she, she speaks Yoruba who is Ejimin, can you come or someone just tell her the Lord is bringing breakthrough you can whisper it now here it doesn't have to be it's your mother come the Lord is breaking the Lord is breaking a yoke, the yoke of delay. Ah, as I just mentioned delay, I just saw fire just left me. As I just mentioned that word delay, I'm about to pray on it. But since, since I just saw the fire, let me just do what I saw in the spirit. The spirit of delay, be judged now. The spirit of delay, I say it again, be judged now. The spirit of delay, shadow kasudosh. The spirit of delay, be judged now. The spirit of delay, open your heart, open your heart and pray. The spirit of delay, be judged now. Any kind of delay, the spirit of delay, be judged now. The spirit of delay, be judged now. Be judged now. Be judged now. breakthrough for your family God is bringing breakthrough mama God is bringing breakthrough your son will tell you in Yoruba in the name of Jesus Christ there's something on you that makes wrong people come to you I have to pray for you, Are you I'm looking at you 
very bad people come to you for bad reasons no serious person you know what i'm saying i don't want to start bringing long it's not there is something there's a spirit in you that attracts those kind of people they will never pass you and go free they must turn back and this thing is destroying your life hold my hands shout jesus look at this so you just think it's just love you are in love with a beautiful girl it's not just love out now go in the name of jesus hallelujah glory to the lamb glory to the father you are seated on the throne hallelujah glory to the lamb I've not seen this in a long time. The Lord is showing me a map again. And this map is going to Kogi State. I'm laying my hands now. Kogi State. Let that anointing begin to find people within that region. Now I'm praying. You come within that region. Let the anointing find you. Deliverance for that region now. Shatakoto Seketea. Kogi State. Deliverance now. From any strange power, any force of darkness. If you don't know your state of origin and you are from there, you can know it now by the anointing. In the name of Jesus, anyone from that region, that's the region the anointing of the Spirit is focusing on now. I command deliverance now. The strong men within those regions let God's people go now release them right now the spirits of the grave the spirits of ancestry I cost you by the God of heaven hallelujah hallelujah lift your hands we'll pray for the sick shortly but there are people here why God brought you tonight is to receive the healing anointing I just saw it I don't know where they are they are in almost every overflow there are representations Lord Jesus anyone who you brought here to receive the anointing for healing let that anointing come this is your moment now receive it now ordained by God to receive this anointing today ordained by God to receive the grace for healing I'm seeing that anointing coming on two people in worship team two people worship team that anointing that grace hallelujah glory to the Lamb the anointing to heal the sick you don't just pray for the sick there is an anointing i say it again the anointing to bring healing to transport the power of god from the throne to their lives receive that anointing right now hallelujah hallelujah mama come please please help her she's not running by herself it's under the anointing Mama, I see a new dimension of healing coming on you. A new dimension, just hold her. A new dimension of healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah! This mama is going to pray for the sick and you'll be surprised. There is an unusual anointing upon you for barrenness. For barrenness. I'm praying. Help that lady, please. In the name of Jesus. Receive that anointing, mama, in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace, the grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Alabashi Katusia Dabakuriata. 
Jada soto si katosi ala kahambaris. Leka to sada pratuski ala baladush. The Lord is asking me to stand in front of you. Just to stand in front of you. That's the instruction I'm getting. Maroko supri atakosi ala katosh. The light shines out of darkness. God is removing something from your chest. I'm seeing something leaving you. I don't know what this is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I stand in front of you. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. All of you who are standing here in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. And I declare, come, let me touch your child. I'm going to pray for favor. When you hear me say favor, lift your hands and receive. You need it in your life. Too many people have taken advantage of you. Even as... I'm seeing people laughing. That's, that's why I just stopped. This is very strange. A strange anointing is a sign of victory in the spirit. That's what the Lord is showing me. Strange. It's an anointing. Very strange anointing. You see, if you are not spiritual and you don't understand why God does these things, it's not showmanship. The Bible says he's, he filled their mouth with laughter. I read it for you. You can't stand it. It's something that laughter you see is warfare. It's not just laughing hysterically. I release it. The families that is for, the individuals that is for, laughter is a weapon in the spirit. It disarms the enemy. So my dear, when I'm praying for favor, please you stand to receive it. Eh? But I bless your child. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. There's someone, your family member has been missing. This is more than one year. Who is that person? Because the person who is missing is still alive. Let, if she's the one, who is missing? Don't come and tell lies here. Are you sure? My father, I Your talked father. to you about it before. You told me about yes, it? Yes, and you remember. prayed. Where, what happened? When last did you see him? 2016, August, Saturday. He told me he was coming and that was the end. From where? From Edo State, Benin. And you've not seen him? We've not seen him since date. We are still in search of him. How about you? My cousin sister. Your cousin sister is missing. Yes. All these people, they are, leave them. Their loved ones are just fine. Now, once they are, don't please, if, if you are not related to the people, don't please don't come here. We are going to pray generally. If you, if you do it like that, there will be chaos. How about you? Yes, sir, my in law. Your in law? Yes, sir. What do you mean, your in law? From the United States. Okay. All of you, your loved ones are missing. Your loved one is missing. Who is that? Your younger brother? Yes, missing. Since when? 2014. 2014? Yes. They've not seen him? Yes, sir. You see how Satan works? How can somebody leave home? For you to sympathize with people, put them in your shoes. Imagine that your child left home and said, Mommy, I'm coming, and never comes back. I'm prophesying to you three years. Your child went and said, Mommy, I'm coming. Until today. Come, Mama. Give her the mic. Hold on, Mama. Your, ch your child is alive. This boy, you see, are they twins or is he the same person? This one. This is the only one. What happened to him? He left school. I put him in APU. He refused. Poly, he refused. He's busy taking drugs, going about lying to people that his parents are dead. All over at times, they call me in the police station or your state, but I caught that he's arrested. I don't know how they set him free at times. You see, our honestly, let me speak towards young people. It's, it's okay, Mama. He's your only son. Only son. One, one, get one. That's all. Yes. You, that's how you know it's a spirit. 
because the devil sat down and saw that these boys will bring joy to the mother and then the devil decided to will the lady not marry and go huh? he's very intelligent in school he was in the APU he left the school and go away what's his name Awal is his name Awal Awal yes Hi. we are going to pray Like a month ago, from what God is showing me, this boy had problem with police. They were smoking. In the they were kept, smoking he, Igbo. He, police he came and packed them with he his friends. Drugs. This is what, Mama, let me talk to you now. I'm the one talking to you. I know. You see, when you see me pray about this, this drug, this thing, that drug is a spirit. It's more than with due respect to doctors and this thing. It's not just because of the physical thing it gives. I'm telling you, that thing is a spirit. If you have a child or you know someone that takes that thing, counseling is not the way out. There is a real spirit that must be casted out. Are we together? Some of you here right now, seated in this program, you love God, but that, what, what they, they call it, codeine, again. Uh, mama, 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 don't worry. It's... it's it's, it's okay it's okay because you see the way these boys are desperate for this money they will coin every kind of story and beg you and lie you give them hundred naira you give, once you give them enough to take this thing they will disappear and go and rubbish it let me tell you there is none of those boys that is bad in himself there is none of those girls that are bad in themselves is the influence of spirits nobody will be killing himself and eating death like that every day mama you have come for miracle service god will do something about you in your situation who is this my brother it's my mom younger brother your for mom's over, younger brother yes for missing. over 10 years we have not seen him 10 years yes you've not sir. seen him oh pray how about you sir my elder you're brother. the pastor that came from worry yeah. okay. from delta state from delta state okay. uh, my elder brother was missing about 20 years ago we really forget, forgot about him in Ghana. He was in Ghana and he's, and he's yes, missing. Yes. Okay, let me pray with you. It's an instruction. Because some of the situations now, they are even very difficult situations. I, I don't know in myself whether some of them are alive or they've gone to be with the Lord or whatever. But my job is to pray. Because God has instructed me to pray. Mama, please stop crying. You came here with faith in your heart. Let me tell you, you must eat the fruit of your labor. And I'm saying this, I'm using this mother as a point of contact, not just to every mother here, but to all our mothers. The force that wants them to labor and die in pain, go to their graves in pain, we challenge that force now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's an error to sow and someone reap. In the name of Jesus, every true mother that has labored to sow, may they reap in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying. Everyone here whose loved one is missing and alive and walking in the earth here, I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you. I connect them back now with the name of Jesus. Jesus called Lazarus. And when he called Lazarus, he came out. I call them by their various names in the spirit. For as long as they are alive and walking on this earth, I put a desire in them to reconnect to their families. Those who have been jailed because, you see, some of these people, let's be very fair, some of them, they, they smuggle their way out of the country. They go to Libya, they go to all of these places. Some of them go to do prostitution, unfortunately. Some of them go because they want to make money. Someone tells them, come, travel, and all of that. So some of them, they may even be in cells in some of these places you may never know. But regardless of the case, for as long as they are on earth, we cry for mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ, may they be reconnected back to you. 
in Jesus name God bless you please go back to your seat rejoicing go back to your seat rejoicing go back to your seat rejoicing I hope someone is holding that person shouting me my friend come you are doing your ushering work but I will pray for you before you go back eh? look at me I'm looking at you the Lord is telling me to tell you August 7th is a month that breakthrough will begin in a very strange way for you hold my hands August 7th don't forget write it father in the name of Jesus I pray for this gentleman you have revealed to me August 7th I prophesy to him in the name of Jesus Christ may God change your life within that time may God change your life within that time may God change your life within that time I'm seeing a ring a ring in the spirit I'm seeing a ring in the spirit I'm seeing a ring ordinary when you see a ring you would think maybe God is saying he's bringing marriage maybe marriage to families but this one God is delivering people from spirit entities with all kinds of fraternities over their lives right now I stretch my hands that's why it's important to let the Holy Ghost interpret things I know that many of you may not believe what I'm praying but you just allow me pray every spirit entity covenanting to you as a husband or as a wife I set fire on this ring I see in the spirit be free from them now ladies be free now I command those spirit entities to release you in the name of Jesus Christ for the gentleman I command freedom for you now from any entity laying claims over you you go to bed and they come to you in the night they try to molest you they try to sleep with you they can use faces of people you know or you don't know or animals anyone under the sound of my voice who any stranger comes to him in the night while you sleep fire is coming on you now 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 I command that they let you go now for some of us when good things are about to happen just when you are about to get it you go in the night and someone comes to sleep with you in that dream as soon as you wake up from that experience no matter what it is it's gone whether it is favor whether it is breakthrough fire is still speaking i'm praying at the count of three oh god you who is a mighty deliverer i pray that your anointing will search for these ones and bring them deliverance now one two three let there be deliverance for you now deliverance for you now from any spirit entity laying claims on your destiny hallelujah thank you Jesus this lady with lime yes you come no look at me look at me I'm talking at that one with you yes come where are you coming from? Benway. Benway State. Look at me. Look at this. Are you seeing? She just stood there. And while I was looking, I just saw a spirit through her look at me and turn the face. Now, it's very funny how these things work. See, one of the prayers you must pray in your life is for the grace of open eyes. If your eyes are closed in this life, and all that is open is your brain you will be in trouble open eyes is not something just for prophets 
is one of the true riches of the kingdom. You must cry that God will open your eyes. Not to see nonsense around, to see something that is destiny molding. Now look at this girl. How will I stand and see someone there and call her out? Imagine that this lady went back like this. To her she will now say, oh God, so this is how you didn't locate me. Sensitivity, discernment is a priceless spiritual gift. Sensitivity. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. Not wishing, praying in the Holy Ghost. You activate your organs. You have to pray for a long time in the spirit. For your spirit to be heightened. To be able to perceive spiritual things. Otherwise you will get into all kinds of error. Wrong perception. That you have started seeing things does not mean they are clear. You must continue in the place of prayer until it becomes accurate. I just showed you the thing of ring now. Some of you may see that ring now and then tell somebody it's, it's not marriage as it were. You see, it was something else, but it's a ring. This lady has bad luck in her life. Very bad luck. I have to pray for you. She just came quietly standing. This I would have shared the grace. And the dear lady will go back. And then it will look as if God is not in the place. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing you cough. I'm seeing her cough. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. That she's beginning to cough. I don't know why, what is having to do with coughing. But in the name of Jesus Christ. Shatos let everything that speaks against you leave now this lady swallowed something in the dream. Someone came to her, gave her something, and she swallowed in the dream. If you ever say you like this girl, everything in your life goes down immediately. I'm not saying she's a bad girl. Please don't get me wrong. I'm teaching her something here. She's not a bad girl, but this is the operation in her life. There are people, do you know why we minister to people like that? This is what sometimes prophets see, that if they don't get discernment, they go around saying, someone now may not see this correctly and say this girl is a witch he's not exactly wrong in terms of saying that there is war associated with her life you can come now and hold her hands as a businessman in two months of relationship everything goes down and she knows she loves god but if you are not discerning you will now call the poor girl a witch and everybody will start running away from her she's not a witch there is just a challenge and then if you also say she's all right like that and somebody marries her that guy's life will be torn into pieces this is the testimony of so many families it's an uncomfortable truth but it's true human beings carry spirits they carry presence father liberty for her the devil is already ah someone in overflow one and overflow three is being delivered from fibroid 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 i just saw a hand reaching into someone's like someone's stomach to bring out something in the name of jesus christ that devil of fibroid we pray for the sick shortly we'll be very fast at it fibroid is gone now in the name of jesus christ nothing Aside from the operation of the laws of the spirit can exempt you. Now the Bible tells us about Abraham who was an idol worshiper that came from a land called Or of the Chaldeans. In Genesis chapter 12, the Bible tells us how that God told Abraham, come out of your kindred and your father's house to a land that I will show you. He began to propose to Abraham how that you would bless him and told Abraham, I will make you the landlord of the earth. Something will happen upon your life. 
that will make the earth to become your possession and then in chapter 14 when he went to capture lot and bring him back the bible says he met a strange man called melchizedek who was a king of an ancient city of peace called salem the ancient name for jerusalem the hebrew is jerusalem an ancient city of peace a man according to hebrews with no origin no beginning no end no father no mother a man who was operating in the office of the priesthood and the bible says when abraham encountered this priest a transaction happened between two of them please follow me the bible says abraham took the tenth of all and gave unto melchizedek do you believe that he took a tenth of all gave unto melchizedek when he gave a tenth of all to melchizedek melchizedek received it and did what he activated the blessing he said blessed be abraham son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth and at once the earth started working abimelech wanted to take his wife that is a bad situation is that not true but because of the blessing abimelech released the wife and gave him gifts gave him gifts a man one moment you want to take away his wife another moment you not only become his friend you honor him with gifts there is a mystery that governs this creation do you know what we call bad luck you know what we call misfortune misfortune is not just an issue of witchcraft like ancestry misfortune is the resultant effect of taking from the designated portion there is already an authorization whether there are witches in your family or not that every time you touch god's portion you violate a law the earth starts reacting to it at once are you getting blessed now the destiny of abraham was opened up on account of this portion jacob who was the um son from the lineage of abraham watch this jacob worked for laban is that not true laban cheated jacob right he was about to give him a daughter and he said i will work seven years and then he exchanged rachel with leah and he worked for another seven years then he had been with him six years 20 years of oppression from a man but it still didn't matter because something was upon him and he said all right this is what will happen take your spotted calf i will take calves that are not spotted the bible tells us like begets like and jacob said from the calves that are not spotted if they give birth we will watch if there's unspotted calf give birth to spotted children they are my own and the bible says he took ordinary stick it was not an ordinary stick brothers and sisters and the calves who come to mate just looking at a stick a white cow or a a a a, a, a spotless um, animal will now give birth to his, another animal that is spotted it is not just creation was working for him when so even if you cheated him something happened and the cows or the animals started giving birth and laban said my goodness what is happening leave my presence that is a man who has honored god with his portion today i want to show you a dimension of the dominion mystery of titan watch this do you know why many people never walk in kingdom authority many churches are barring producing posters now i'm not against that but i'm saying every week hand bills every week running around scrounging for members threatening people with causes let me tell you why because there is a law that they are violating consistently and god is no respecter of person the laws of the spirit has equal value in any territory equal value is god speaking to us tonight when moses died please look up everyone when moses died the bible tells us how that he told joshua he said moses my servant is dead and now Mo, Ab, uh, joshua had a responsibility to throw down jericho 
and he was afraid because the Bible tells us that Jericho was a mighty city. Do you know the fence of Jericho? According to scripture, five chariots could stand on the fence. How will you break through that fence? That is a challenge. But he said, I will show you something. Watch this. Five verse one of Joshua. Open our eyes, O oh God. And let men and women walk away from their chains forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Five verse one of Joshua. Five verse one. Joshua chapter one. Verse one. And it came to pass, it will be a fast reading. When all the kings of the Amorites who were on the side of Jordan, westward, and all the kings of the Canaanites who were by the sea heard that the Lord had dried up the waters of the Jordan from before the children of Israel until we were passed over, that their hearts melted, neither was their spirit in them anymore because of the children of Israel. Now watch this. They were about to challenge Jericho. And when the other kings heard of the mighty things that God did, the kings tried to decipher what is it about Israel that makes them always win battles? What is it that makes them, whether you have a greater armory than them, is insignificant. They will throw you down. There was a mystery of dominion they were working with. And God was about to introduce Joshua. Joshua was just a young ruler taking over from Moses. And this is what he told him. Let's see the mystery. Let's take chapter 5 verse 2. 5 verse 2. Are you there? Now let's look at it. It says, At that time the Lord said unto Joshua, Do what? He said, Make sharp knives. He's about to teach him how to continue in the steps of Moses. Make sharp knives and circumcise again the children of Israel the second time. Let's continue. Three. And Joshua made sharp knives and circumcised all the children at the heel of the four skins. And then, and this is the reason why he circumcised them. All the people that came out of Egypt were males, even all the men of war. They died in the wilderness after they came out of Egypt. Five. Now all the people that came out were circumcised. But all the people that were born in the wilderness by the way, when they came forth out of Egypt, were not circumcised. Are you seeing that now? All those who had been winning and making Israel make progress, it was because they were circumcised. But he said, these guys are not circumcised. And if you don't circumcise them, something dangerous is about to happen to you. Verse 6. It says, for the children of Israel walked 40 years in the wilderness and all of that and all of that let's go to verse 7 and their children whom he raised up in their stead them joshua circumcised for they were uncircumcised because they had not circumcised them by the way verse 8 watch this and it came to pass when they were done circumcising all the people they abode in their places watch this joshua is afraid of conquering jericho and the walls that are before him and God said no problem heaven wants to come into your affairs but you need to authorize them it says circumcise the people the moment the circumcision finished verse 9 let's see what happened and the Lord said to Joshua this day I have what rolled away the reproach of Egypt my goodness so all the while they were carrying the reproach because they were not circumcised he said the moment a circumcision, a separation, a cutting away happened. He said this day I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you. Wherefore the name of the place to this day is called Gilgal. Go to verse 13. Let's see something mysterious that happened. Verse 13. Everyone look up. Manda kaparato kasitaya. And it came to pass, listen, Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted up his eyes immediately after circumcision. He saw a strange man who came and said, I'm ready to partner with you. You have invited the realm of the spirit into your affair. That man had been there all the while, but there was no access. He said, you need help. You can't conquer Jericho by your strength. 
the realm of the spirit wants to partner with you but the secret is the circumcision the moment it happened the bible says he lifted up his eyes and he saw a man with a sword and he went to him and said are you for us or against us next verse and he said nay but i come i'm also a warrior but i fight in the spirit the same way you guys are warriors i am also a captain i lead a battalion i help men on earth who invite us to come Imarama, you are seated on the throne and he said and joshua fell on his face and did worship and he said unto him what saith my lord to his servant next verse watch this and the captain of the lord's host said unto joshua lose thy shoe from off your foot from the place you stand this holy ground and joshua did so next verse now jericho was straightly short watch this let me just save our time are you noticing what is happening here immediately after the circumcision he saw the captain then the captain started revealing to him the strategy this is how you will take jericho otherwise they would have died there because physically speaking jericho was insurmountable now watch this your tithe in the spirit is similar to this spiritual circumcision your tithe is an authorization for the realm of the spirit to come into your affairs and partner with you this is the reason why even human beings for men men because men are the carriers of the seed men are instructed to be circumcised why not sir? how can a man come from heaven we believe children are the heritage of the lord but you will give birth to a man and he will still go to circumcision are you getting the point now because the moment circumcision happens the realm of the spirit comes come come watch this you are on your own minding your business trying to win the war of life by yourself and god is saying you are doing this thing sensually you are doing this thing carnally you never will be able to do it it says honor me with your tithe and the moment that happens there is already a spiritual arsenal that comes to work with you and that which you have becomes supernatural not just natural not just natural it becomes supernatural the reason why there is a crowd of people inside and outside look at this right to the road right everywhere let me tell you the reason why it is not just because this is a great ministry it is because we have beckoned on the assistance of the supernatural there are some people standing outside who are even shocked that they are here when you see them you imagine there is no amount of invitation you would have given them to come but for the realm of the spirit he said i am come as a captain in other words the same way you fight there are spiritual arsenals to wait in you have been trying to fight every battle in your life just by using physical arsenals and the lord is saying the earth is fighting you when you return my designated portion you authorize the realm of the spirit to begin to help you this ministry by the grace of god we are faithful never for any reason and by any means under the sun will we touch god's portion not out of fear but out of revelation my life as a person god is my witness that i honor him and that portion that belongs to him this is why i'm dangerously protected it's not about a man no 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 dangerously protected i share with you a simple but powerful mystery when pastor jakes was sharing and he said they picked somebody from his position and makes him a deputy manager deputy manager with interviews on phone you went to school and you are intelligent is that how it is done let me tell you the blessing breaks the rules for you it breaks the rules for you 
Yes, when men say it cannot be done, it breaks the rules. The problem is that we are too carnal. We have intellectualized life. Life is spiritual. Say it after me. One more time. Shout it like you believe it. Life is spiritual. All that you see is not all that there is. Those who are controlling this world are those who have an advantage of the spirit. You are Yahweh, you are seated on the throne. You are Yahweh, you are seated on the throne. Tonight God is asking you, are you ready to stop struggling in life? Let me tell you, struggling is a cause. If you ever convince yourself that God is the author of your struggle. I am telling you now. Struggling is a cause. It's a cause from the pit of hell. You will never be able to serve God. If all you are doing in your life is looking for money. Because money is not missing. You were never supposed to look for it. Hallelujah. You will never be able to serve God. If you allow this mammon. The spirit that takes the heart of men away from God to begin to pursue other things. Trying to look for earthly relevance. There are people who want to build a house, but they want to build it physically by putting blocks. You will die trying to build that house because there is a spiritual dimension to everything. Give us James chapter 2 verse 26. I hope we'll be able to find it. I'm reserving it for next week by the way next week friday here is going to be a powerful vigil hallelujah yes next week is going to be a vigil it's going to be a time of prayer and worship we're inviting guests from all over now watch this the lord showed me this mystery and it changed my life i shared it in abuja i was reserving it to start the teaching next week but your hunger has tempted me to go to that scripture and let's let's touch it a bit Paul, watch this. Oh, sorry, James, the apostle James was teaching on faith and works, corresponding action. Is that true? And while he was teaching on faith and works, he just feared off and brought a powerful principle in an attempt to explain faith and work. He, comp he, he compares it with something. He says, For as the body without what a spirit now all of you watch this guy the only reason that i can interact with him is because there is a spirit is that true if the spirit leaves this body what happens i will reject the body all of you will reject the body are you getting me and we will have to bury him because it is a body though complete it has no spirit are you getting me now i want you Media, please keep it there. Keep it there so that we'll... I want you to remove the word as and just read just the first line to the comma. Are you ready? One to read. One more time. One more time. For the body without the spirit is dead. It is said for the body of man. For any material thing that does not have a spiritual force backing it, it is dead. For any material business without a spirit equivalent is dead. For any church without a spirit agency backing it is like a dead body. It says for a body without a spirit. So the nation of Israel was like a body without a spirit. And he said, Joshua, you will lose. You need the spirit component and circumcision authorized the spirit. When the realm of the spirit came, they said, let's go. We can take Jericho. And with one shout, this was what David knew. That as big as Goliath was, he was a body without a spirit. The other people were looking from the three-dimensional realm. Ah, Goliath was shouting and David looked at him. He said, I see a body, but there is no covenant, no spirit. What is the force in the spirit backing you? And Goliath said, am I a dog? Even if you fight me, honor me, 
And David said, you are joking. You don't know who is talking. I'm not alone. I, I, you are an uncircumcised. See the word again. See the word again. You are an uncircumcised. I would have been afraid of you. I would have considered your threat if you were circumcised. Where is the ties that connects you to the realm of the spirit? And he said, I'm circumcised. I may be weak, but there is a government that backs me. When you get this key, my brother, you will run as if Satan does not exist. I promise you. I promise you. This, you can jump around for deliverance. You can hop from everywhere. But the body without a spirit is dead. So your boss in the office knows this. And there is a spirit that backs his chair. You just get up with your your certificate and sit on that chair and it becomes too hot because all in that office is not just a chair it's a throne there are spirits back in it that's why the bible said they that knew their god they that have connected with a spiritual advantage they shall be strong shall do exploits rise from the realm of being natural and tap into the supernatural realm where the realm of the spirit assists you and your life will be nothing short of a wonder. How many people, listen, I have given up on trying to do things by my strength because I know I'm wasting my time. The body. In the same way, the next time somebody stands and threatens you, that is a body without a spirit. See, no matter what talk people talk, I only consider you if you are connected spiritually are you getting what I'm saying I will deal with you the body without the spirit is dead I will make sure you leave this job the body without the spirit is dead you only pay attention to a man who has risen beyond the three dimensional realm because there is an assistance whether demonic or whatever are you getting me circumcision is that key there are many who continue ah we have a an extent we are going to be touching on the matters of the kingdom next week friday i'll be showing you certain secrets of the kingdom that it will make you almost like a drunk man you will get up and jump and shout tonight all we are doing in this miracle service is by an ancient mystery crying and asking heaven and say lord behold the sick people and already in this place there are more angels the arsenals in the realm of the spirit are more than what you know that's always what happens whenever you see me come to sit down i smile around the stage i would have died of hypertension if i'm responsible for your healing but we have made arrangement already we are covered oh yes absolutely we are covered heaven is jealous jealous to protect his own because god's designated portion listen when you steal your tight you have not only destroyed your destiny you have stolen from your children every time you don't tight just know that your firstborn is in trouble if you don't do it again you are affecting your children because he said, I will pour you a blessing you will not have room. In other words, no matter how greedy you are, your lifetime cannot exhaust it. So when you steal, you have endangered the destiny of your children. God's portion. If anyone ever told you tithing is all about money, that person lied to you or was sincerely wrong. Tithing has nothing to do with money. It's the law of open heavens. Let me surprise you. If your tithe is 10,000 and you carry 1 million and give charity foundation and you don't tithe that 10,000, you are operating under a closed heaven. Don't convince yourself that because you gave 1 million, the heavens is open. It is called due process. I'll teach you next week. There is a protocol to spiritual things. Are you getting my point? Tithing 
is what opens your heavens and then anything you do under that open heavens will prosper if you like carry one billion give charity organization give for the building of church if you are not a tighter i guarantee you the bible says your heaven shall be brass and your earth iron all of them are conductors of heat get set for heat in your life when the heaven is open if not if for nothing we know there is ventilation fresh air the wind comes but when your heaven is brass and your earth is iron many of us here no matter what prayer happens in this that's why we took the communion the devourer is authorized to destroy anyone who is not spiritually circumcised the devourer is not a demon the devourer is a principality even jesus christ acknowledged them that's why he said he is the head of principalities it destroys men's lives on legal basis this earth is too wicked for you to allow chance no i pray for people all the time people with cancers hiv tuberculosis communicable diseases imagine if i refuse to be faithful i would die like a chicken because most times i lay hands on people and there are medical doctors here they know that some of these things are physically not healthy but i'm circumcised my goodness you invoke my name in a shrine both the invoker the invokee and the ordinance it they will burn to ashes ashes no matter how mad a man is he doesn't enter fire by mistake he can cross the road and he says he's a madman but when he sees fire he fears off when heaven backs you let me tell you your life becomes a wonder even to you this ministry is a wonder to everyone not just because we are so smart we are just stupid enough to involve the realm of the spirit because by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail you reign you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh you are mighty on your throne. Oh, sing, oh, fountains of the deep. Cry out, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. Oh, spirit of the deep, cry out, God, oh, you are mighty on your throne, mighty on your throne, you are 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 mighty on your throne. You are mighty on your road. You are mighty in this place. 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 You are mighty in my life. 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 Hallelujah. We are going to pray just two prayer points and then I'll begin to minister. You are mighty in this place. They that are with us are greater, greater, greater. Mantos Kalabandikalia. There shall no man be able to stand against you all the days of your life. 
Prayer point number one. Oh God, by the blood I cry for mercy. Where I've allowed the devourer, I have stolen from my tithe your designated portion. I've allowed the devil deceive me that the tithe is a gimmick by preachers. Now I realize and I ask for your mercy. Lift your voice and pray. Inside and outside. Lift your voice. Your tithe is your spiritual circumcision. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Ask for fresh grace oh. and make a vow that you will never miss out on your tithe again. Make, make a vow. Not by fear. Listen, I give you an assurance and I pledge the name of the Lord upon this. If you take what I've shared tonight, for many of you, this is your secret, it's your password to a mysterious level of lifting, a level of lifting that will surprise you as much as surprise those who are your spectators. God's portion, the time his designated portion that makes creation to walk in your favor makes your enemies to walk in your favor mysterious but powerful consistent hallelujah just one more prayer and then we'll trust to see the mighty things that the Lord is going to do I want you to lift your voice in one minute we are going to pray in the next five minutes listen i want you to confront the gates of your destiny and i want you to pray and say you must open up this night lift your voice it's the seventh month the gates of my destiny must open up by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That must open up. Some just Some in Moses. But we just in the name of our God. 
Hallelujah. Let me just add one more prayer. Because I see the angels of the Lord already moving. Let me just add one more prayer. Listen. I want you to pray. Listen. There are giants on every mountain. Every one of us is holding a prayer request. Because there is an aspect of your life the devil has refused to let you go. But tonight, I want you to lift up your voice and prophesy to the heavens and challenge those powers and say, I must go tonight. Lift your voice. Inside and outside. Cry. I must walk away. That terminal disease must die today. That cancer must die today. That HIV must go today. That barrenness must go today. That stagnation must go today. Koinonia, pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Oh, 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 Hallelujah. Now, before I begin ministering, please, can I have that family if they are here? The family that came with the poison person. Are they here? Please, let's save time. If they are here, just signify by wave of hand and then run out here quickly. There's a lot to do tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. While that is happening, I want everybody to follow up on your prayer request. If you are here to write, please one minute so that when we begin to flow we just move and we don't stop so you have one minute while you are praying in tongues just write your prayer requests very quickly so that when it's time to pass it you just pass it very fast make sure you don't keep silent write the issues that have threatened you and watch the god of heaven turn them into testimonies What can I do? I can leave without you. I can leave without you. So tell me, what can I do? I can leave without you. I can leave without you.
Christ. We pray that there will be a reign of miracles, a reign of deliverances, a reign of impartations, a reign of breakthroughs. We forcefully advance tonight. We compel gates to be opened. We compel doors to be opened. We compel every handwriting of darkness to give way in this place tonight and we declare that this atmosphere is completely under the influence of the Holy Spirit and that everybody here within this vicinity comes under the influence of the Spirit Lord that no one will walk out of this place without a touch of God hallelujah hallelujah now I'm going to begin to minister to us and while I prayed for this in the course of the week, again and again, I kept seeing, please pay attention, can I have strings, 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 hallelujah, I kept seeing again and again, spirits, watch this, spirits, leeching onto people, this is what I kept seeing, like a man sitting on a man's shoulder, I saw this over many people, and I said, Lord, what is the meaning of this? And the Lord began to, re to reveal to me that these are the spirits that cause setbacks upon the lives of men and upon the lives of families. And the Lord said, when I come up, he said, the first thing I should do is dislodge those powers. Dislodge those powers. I saw them like a man, like a child who sit down on the shoulder of another, bringing a resistance to your destiny. And I'm about to pray for you right now. There are so many people under the sound of my voice. So many people under the sound of my voice. They must go. Heaven is here to assist us. Lift your hands everyone. Inside and outside. There will be such mighty deliverances outside. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I even see someone um, uh, suffering from severe migraine. But then that migraine you think is just sickness. We are about to make a shout, brothers and sisters. This shout is like the sling of David. It looks ordinary, but there is a circumcision upon it. It's a shout that rises beyond the earth realm. It's a shout that rises beyond the intelligence of men. It's a shout that is like a battle sound to the angelic. It's like a battle sound because your destiny must open up right now. There will be mighty deliverances. Mighty deliverances. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for us and then at the count of three we are going to shout that name Jesus my goodness I sense the anointing of the spirit heavy the power of God will fall upon many of you in a mighty way and you will see this spirit some of you are already feeling uncomfortable it's the power of God especially many outside there will be mighty deliverances lift your hands now thank you Jesus Father, in the name of your son, I pray right now and I sound an alarm in the realm of the spirit. I decree and I declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost that the fire of the spirit, oh, restrain not your hand, oh mighty one. We pray that you arise as a man of war. There are destinies at the mercy of your touch. I pray that by this shout, oh God, there be a visitation that by this shout oh god everyone here under any spirit help them please help them bring them out everyone here under any influence as we shout let fire catch them and visit their foundations and i command every power that at this shout you will let god's people go inside and outside one two Three, shout that name. I command witchcraft. 
powers of darkness right now right now in the name of jesus inside and outside inside and outside inside and outside the fire of god is falling on people falling on people i cause witchcraft i cause witchcraft i cause witchcraft I cause witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. Malatata. I'm seeing altars on fire. That's what I see in the spirit. Please bring them out. Altars on fire. One more time, we're going to shout. Physically, many of you will feel the fire. Physically, physically. Right now, in the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Oh yes, that's fire, that's fire, that's fire of the Holy Ghost that brings deliverance outside, 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 miracles are happening, miracles are happening, mighty deliverances by the power of the Holy Ghost. You must let them go. You must let them go. Right now. By fire. Fire. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. There are people here. As I begin to speak, the Holy Ghost will locate them. I'm seeing ladies. Ladies, a man comes to you in the night and sleeps with you right now by fire. Oh God, locate them right now. Right now. Right now. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. Ladies. Ladies. A miracle is happening to sisters. I cost those I cost the fire is falling on ladies, falling on I'm seeing a family in the vision of the Lord. Everyone in that family has been tied down by witchcraft. Lord, where is that person in this place? Inside and outside. Right now as I speak, oh. the power of God comes upon that person. Right now, wherever that person is, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, inside and outside, the power of God comes upon that person. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Lift your voice in one minute. This is what the Lord is telling me. As we begin to pray, miracles will start happening. Lift your voice and break every chain holding you down. Go ahead. This is what God is telling me. Yes, he 
Please lift your hands. Lift your hands. I hear my spirit families. Families. God is stepping into families. There are altars. There are altars over families that are about to be broken. As you are standing right now, God is going to be visiting your family. At that shout again, inside and outside, make sure you are participating. Inside and outside, we are going to shout that name. As you shout the name of Jesus, families, I see altars on fire. Are you ready now? Father, any family under the yoke of bondage, as they shout this name, let there be a visitation. One, two, three. Jesus! Families, be free now! Be free now! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice. And ask him for a visitation again. Something serious is happening in this place. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm hearing marital spells. Marital spells. Please lift your hands. Listen. Hear me. Something mighty is about to happen here. The Lord is ministering to me that there are people who there are spells tying down their marriages whether single or married right now lift your hands as I begin to speak the wind I see like a wind a whirlwind moving across this auditorium oh. it will catch up with some people right now where are they oh God visit them right now in the name of Jesus one more time we will shout that name wherever they are one, two, three Jesus spells spells be broken be broken be broken be broken be broken marital spells outside I'm hearing a name Dorcas. Dorcas, a miracle is coming. Dorcas, an altar is on fire. And I'm hearing the Lord telling me a miracle. Dorcas. Dorcas. Come and stand here. Okay. 
Hallelujah. Who is Israel? I'm hearing a name Israel. Israel, the Lord is ministering to me. Tonight, he must let you go. Let you go. Hallelujah. Now the Lord is showing me a woman. You are here. You had a miscarriage. There is a woman here who had a miscarriage. It's like you had a child and you lost the baby. And the Lord is telling me, please help them, those under the anointing, so that we don't, this place is not rowdy. Listen, let me tell you something. The anointing of the spirit does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference. The anointing does not make the difference. Without the anointing, we are just making noise here. But by the anointing, and I'm telling you this, no matter where you are, whether you are inside here or outside or right at the back, I want you to connect because God is visiting you. And every one of you must have a touch. Dorcas, where is your mother, my dear? Huh? I'm not busy, Zaria, sir. No, I'm not saying She's where is she? Mina, Niger She's in Mina. Yes, we have to pray because the Lord is bringing a mighty breakthrough for your family. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Hold my hands, Father. Change the story of this lady by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I hold your hands, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord set you free. Madam, look at me. Where is your husband? At home. Huh? He's at home. Why didn't he come with you? Because there is a breakthrough that is a portion for him in this meeting. Amen. But I'm going to pray for you. Yes, you believe that? Yes, sir. You believe that? Yes, sir. Because this is delay. Yes. I'm seeing delay in your yes, family. Sir. Serious yes, delay. Yes, it's even becoming an issue of argument between you and your husband. Yes, sir. I'm seeing two of you arguing. Yes, sir. But the Lord is saying he is bringing rest to your yes, family. Sir. This Amen, night. Sir. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Father, let there be rest. Rest for her. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are doctors. Where is your mother, my dear? You. She stays in Kaduna. Why? The same way you are crying is how I'm seeing your mother crying in the realm of the spirit. And the Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is saying, Why won't she cry when the load is too much on her? Look at me. Like we shared, tell your mother to get back into faithfulness in tithing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And even you yourself otherwise you will keep seeing repeated hardship but hold my hands in the name of jesus lord bring rest to this lady bring rest to her in the name of jesus christ Can, where is the woman that had a miscarriage there is a woman that had a miscarriage and the lord is asking me to minister to her we may not be able to minister to everybody but there is there is someone please make sure you don't sit back the lord is ministering to me about that person so that we'll just we'll just pray for her. Dogara, Dogara. I'm hearing a name, Dogara. Dogara. Who is Dogara? You. Your name is Dogara. Yes, sir. Where's your dad? He's at home. In Kaduna. He's, he's at home. In Kaduna. We have to pray for him. What I'm seeing will never, if they are permitting anything, please, um, please, maybe carry them out. Of We're about to pray, please, don't worry. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands right now over and I cause that spirit that wants to bring accident. In the name of Jesus, it will not come to pass. We cancel it right now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Madam, I want to pray for you. The way I'm holding your hands, that's the way the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's going to begin to hold your hands and that he will cause you to move forward in your life. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing restoration to your life and he's bringing joy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let it be. You are the one with miscarriage. Why did you sit back? Now come, there's nothing embarrassing about it, madam. This is a family because I'm seeing another one happening and we must pray for you. Yes, sir. 
it's happening again. Yes. We have to cancel it. Okay. Yes, huh? yes, it's not a normal thing that you are having miscarriage yes, because there is a spirit that oppresses you. Yes, huh? yes, and that's what is responsible for that miscarriage. It's not just about praying, praying and saying, pray for me. Okay. You understand? Yes, it takes the anointing of the Holy Spirit. You will give birth to a baby boy. Oh. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that this family will experience your touch. Madam, lay, lay your hands on your stomach. Father, there will not be miscarriage again in the name of Jesus. That's right. I see the spirit. Let her go right now. Right now, release her completely. I set her free. Lord, you showed me a baby boy. Confirm your word by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why are they here? Dorcas, your name is Dorcas too. Your name is Dorcas too. Your daughter's name. Just stand and pray for all of you. You are Israel. I'm going to pray for you. Are you a student? We have to pray because I'm seeing the devil attacking your academics. Attacking your academics very seriously. So that they will not begin to tell you your scripts are missing. Huh? And then they will implicate you in the malpractice. The Lord is asking me to minister to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that this is broken. You're all Israel. And I'll pray with you. Let her go right now. I curse you by the God of heaven. Release her right now and let her go. Right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm looking at this woman but in the realm of the spirit all I'm seeing is a large snake. That's all I'm seeing moving around. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where's the usher? Ushers. Lay your hands on this lady. Just do what I do. I curse that spirit. You must release her right now in the name that is above all names there is no hiding place the light of god is against you in the name of jesus christ there is no hiding place for you by the blood of jesus christ you must release this woman is a spirit of death let her go right now in the name of jesus christ father may they experience your touch in the name of Jesus Christ. May they experience your touch. In the name of Jesus Christ. May they experience, I curse that spirit. Let her go. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your baby's name. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. There is liberty for this boy. There's liberty in the name of Jesus Christ. There's liberty. Hallelujah. Now, all those who were brought out here under the anointing, I want to I want to speak to them now. Don't worry. Everyone out here, I speak to the spirits that are tormenting you. You know my voice, I represent the most high. At the count of three, leave them and go. Right now, one, two, go, go, go. Out of them. Out. Out now, never to return. At your Lord, live your life, live your destiny. Restoration of virtue, of grace. I cost that spirit from its foundation. I cost it from the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. All those who are trusting God for jobs, lift your hands. I see a strange anointing in this place. Please, don't withhold your hand. Don't withhold your hand. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. Sister, you looking at me, rejoice. I see an appointment letter given to you. You, this lady looking at me. I'm talking to her. You are turning back. You. Come, 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 come. I see an appointment letter given to you. There will be mighty miracles of jobs. Hallelujah. Come. This is the person I'm talking about. Because I was praying, and before I would even start, I saw them handing over to you something that looks like an appointment letter. Right? You believe me? 
you believe me you will see it and you will stand before God's people to testify in the name of Jesus Christ I pray the Lord says I should tell you he's rolling away your reproach madam the reproach of many years is being rolled away in this season that's what the Lord is saying I should tell you the reproach of many years is being rolled away I'm seeing like a baller that's what I'm seeing a trash place where they pour dirt and I'm seeing a new seed shooting out and that's what is that's that's like a type of your destiny and the Lord is saying I should tell you he's rolling away the reproach from your life in the name of Jesus lift your hands and let's release miracle job if you don't believe in it put down your hand I command you by the blood of Jesus you foul spirit you have oppressed this body in the name of Jesus I break your covenant I break your ordinance there is a strong spirit that has been oppressing this lady it's not just her can you look at how many people holding one tiny lady I curse you now I curse you I curse you by the God of heaven and I curse you by my office in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I curse that power let her go now right now release her destiny release her family now by the blood of the eternal covenant she's free go release her now in the name of Jesus Christ let me tell you something listen listen people of God don't think we're playing games here I know you may see some of the things happening these are the powers that have tied down men's life it's not solved by counseling you are just moving in the physical yet in the realm of the spirit you are bound we are not embarrassed we are never embarrassed to set people free because that's what Jesus said there's got to be a way of setting people free hallelujah father jobs now in the name that is above all names I want you to receive it as a prophecy over your life Lord I declare everyone called jobless here by the favor of God I terminate joblessness right now by the favor of God I terminate joblessness right now anyone who has applied for any job I compel them to call you I compel them to call your loved ones I compel them to favor you Hallelujah Do we have anyone here called Agnes? Agnes I'm hearing a name Agnes The Lord is ministering to me about one Agnes we we'll begin to pray for the sick shortly. Agnes. I'm hearing the name Agnes. God is ministering to me. He wants to bring deliverance to the family of Agnes. Do we have anyone there? Agnes. Your name is Agnes. Your name too. The family member. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. We'll begin to pray for the sick. After this, Father, in the name of Jesus, bring breakthrough for this family. You showed me that you're visiting this family. Go ahead and confirm your word with signs following. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Whoever is Agnes in your family, let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus. I want to begin to pray for the sick but I'm seeing a very serious situation here there's someone here with a swollen leg I don't know who that person is your leg mysteriously 
paining you and it looks it's, it's like swollen this is what i see in the vision that the lord is showing me who is that person your leg is swollen where is it which of the legs Look what, look, if, if the devil, you remember I told you this, a body without the spirit, look what is happening to this girl. And then you just come and marry her because you think you want a wife. Are you seeing that? Is, is, if it can, look at one, two, three, four, five people holding one person. Imagine what it would do to someone's destiny. I say this without a sense of cynicism many of the people that god is setting free attend churches every week look we need to restore the power of god in our churches and stop playing games with god because god's idea is not just for one platform hallelujah swollen legs no 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 don't you don't you don't have to madam i see you too your legs for how long what's the situation with her is her leg swollen okay hold on she can't walk baby how are you hallelujah please help us with the mic who brought her okay no it's okay it's okay what's your name Annie your name is Anne. Agnes. Alice. Your name is Alice. You can't walk. You can walk, but your leg is bent. Oh my goodness, look at such an innocent lady. Lord, have mercy on this lady. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the Lord will visit you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go back when I begin to pray for the sick and we let them come out. I'm just going to switch to special cases. Leg. Your leg. All of you who had a dream, in a dream is like something was shot. It's like I don't know if it was an arrow. I'm seeing something that looks like a dream, and something was shot on your legs. If the person is not here, I'm seeing someone who had that dream. It's like I don't know if it was like a gun or something, or an uh, or a, 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 a sharp object. I know that it was. It's like it was shot to your leg. I'll pray for you, but this one I'm seeing, I just want to flow as the Holy Spirit is directing me. It's like it, it looks like a gun or something sharp. Huh? I was shot in the realm of the spirit. In my dream. You were shot. Fired at you. Yes. And what happened to you? I only I prayed when I woke up. You prayed when you woke up. The Lord is going to set you free. I know that I've talked to you once, but truly, truly, there is a spirit of delay and stagnation in your life. Because you love God, and God is going to use you in many ways. Not just in the area of the anointing, but even in the area of finances. But as it is, there are many things that are not moving in your life. Lift your hands, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, the reason why you redeem is so that we will be free. I pray that you set this gentleman free by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Everything that was fired on your leg in Jesus' name, I curse it. Jesus' name. What's happening to you, madam? My leg is swollen. Your leg? Yes. What happened? It's just paining you or it's swollen? It's paining in this thing. It's for me to stand or to walk. Almost two years. It's broken for Almost two years. Which of the legs? This one. What can't you do? I, I can't stand like some people are standing now. For me to stand still, you can't stand straight. It's a problem for me, yes. Is it that it's shorter than another? Or what was the issue? It's not shorter than another. Okay. It's, it's you catch believe? Coach, as I'm now, it's catch huh? Why is she here? She's your daughter. My father was shot in a dream by an arrow. It, according to my dad, it 
entered his thigh and came, and out, came out the other this thigh. is the person I'm talking about yes, and it, huh? it caused a physical wound on his thigh up to present this guy where is, is he here. is he here he's in Lagos sir he's in Lagos yes sir you believe God will touch him yes sir when I pray for you call him and tell him yes, that he's been prayed for yes huh? sir yes, because sir. this is witchcraft where are you from I'm from Benue State what's your name my name is Kate Kate yes sir from Benue State hold yes, my hands father visit this family you have revealed this in the name of Jesus. I cost this witchcraft. Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Madam, you believe Jesus will heal you? Yes, I do. You believe with all your heart? Yes. Madam, what's your situation? I have nail pains. Since Me? I, yes, since I feel sick, they used to swell up. Since you... Since I was sick for six months, but he used to swell up. But now I can't walk. I can walk and be feeling sharp pain. Where? Where is the sharp pain? Okay. How about you? My leg is swollen for over five years. Five years. Where is? Which one is swollen? Oh, I see. You can't stand. I can't stand for long. For a long time. Mama, how about you? Two, two months. Yes. What's happening? I have arthritis. You have arthritis. Yes. Who else? Who again? Leg problem. Leg problem. All of you, I'm going to pray for you too. Your legs yes. swollen. Oh, you are the one who said something beat you. Ah, you are a worker in this place. Let's challenge that devil. She's a worker in this house. There is an immunity. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare that this will never return to her again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Never return to her by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to pray for you. And I want you to check yourselves after I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Sister, five years your leg has been swollen. Permanently like that. Have you gone to the hospital? What did they tell you? Nothing was wrong. Eh? Nothing was wrong. Nothing is wrong. Because when a thing is spiritual, no matter what happens in the physical, you may not be able to get an equivalent, um, a, a something to be able to treat. But Father, in the name of Jesus, we cause witchcraft. This is like, right? In the name of Jesus Christ, I command freedom, freedom for your legs. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of witchcraft. Mama, I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray for you right now every wicked spirit leaves you right now in the name of Jesus Christ lay your hands on your chest the Lord is bringing you deliverance right now in the name of Jesus this is witchcraft for five years I'm seeing a spirit go go in the name of Jesus you can't remain in her the swollen legs I command the swelling to go down in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus mama I pray for your leg in Jesus' name. I pray for your leg. That's where the pain is. Just lay your hands there. In the name of Jesus Christ. I cause the pain by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please check yourselves. Check yourselves. Check yourselves. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. And tell me if there's any improvement. How many of us came here either for ourselves or for our loved ones to be healed? Specifically in the area of healing. Let me just see your hands. Inside and outside, can you just wave it to the Lord? How many of you came here to be healed? Okay, very quickly, while the worship team leads us in a powerful worship session, want all the sick people to make their way right now. Just, just guide all the people that are under the anointing. Just shift them. Don't drag them around. Please, let's do that very quickly. Make your way out and just stand in a straight line and trust God for a miracle. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. And it will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain. Break every chain. 
Look how many people are trusting God for healings and miracles. I sincerely pray with all my heart that every church and every assembly of God will permit the power of God to operate in their place. It is not a thing of pride to have so many, look at, literally, maybe hundreds of people right outside. There is a long queue and we'll have to minister to these people. It's not God's idea to have one superstar. It's just that many people, especially men of God, are unwilling to press into the dimensions that bring them to the possibilities. We are going to do this very, very fast. All of you who are sitting, make sure you are connected and um, you are participating. While we are ministering to the sick, I want you to pass your prayer request. Ushers, you can walk around. Please make sure all those outside, even those on the roadside, make sure that we receive their prayer request because I'll be laying hands on it immediately afterwards. Myself and Pastor Jax will be ministering to you. Whatever your challenge is, I want you to believe God. While you're standing, lift your voice and begin to say, Lord, I will not return back with this sickness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I stretch my hands over your people. Let your healing power deliver and send The Lord is healing someone of pile. I'm seeing someone that has suffered pile for a long time. The Lord is healing you right now. You may be in the healing line, but the Lord is healing you right now. Hallelujah. Please make your way. Make your way. It doesn't matter who lays hands on you. There is a corporate anointing in this place. Hallelujah. Please, as soon as we lay hands on you, just go this way very quickly. There are people right to the back outside so that we'll hurry up. And there are still other things we need to do. Praise God. matter what is wrong with you just the laying on of hands the anointing of the spirit is like a drug the moment it enters your body it begins to work and it brings you healing you will notice that some people are standing for healing but as soon as hands are laid on them devils are coming out because they are the causes of these infirmities
can't walk. You can't walk. For how long? No, 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 no. What's wrong? For how long? You were born like that. Just like that. Let's pray and watch what God will do. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Can we hear it? If never, you could not walk by your own. You will fall. Are your legs strong enough? Lord Jesus, is this not why you died? Did he not help you? He came here believing you. You have made this place a place of healing and miracles. Look at the condition of this brother. The legs. Look at me. Leave him. Remove your hand from him. Look at me. Have you tried walking before? Huh? Lift your leg. Try lifting. Lift it. Lift the other one. Lift it. Lift it. You are mighty. Look at me. Just stand behind him so in case he wants to fall, you hold him. Look at me. See, just look at me, not your legs. Look at me. Come. 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 Just come. Don't think of how it will happen. Come. Come. Come, come on, you celebrate are mighty Jesus. Look at on your throne. Completely the legs are open. If you are yet to pass yours, please just do it quickly. Can we all rise? As many as can rise, please, inside and outside. It's a very prophetic moment right now. Jesus, Jesus, my heart will sing. Yeah. My heart will sing. No other name. No other name. Jesus. 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 My heart will sing. No other name. No other name. Jesus. 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 My heart will sing. My heart will sing. Please, those outside, can we have it quickly? No other name. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. We just have five minutes to do this. Listen, I assure you, this is the place where God answers prayers. Hallelujah. I may not be able to minister to everyone individually, but I want you to know that this is a representation of your heart's desire. This is a representation of why you are here. And I'm going to lay my hands as, on as much as possible as a point of contact. All I want you to do is stretch your hands here and begin to receive answers to your prayer. Go ahead, Shibarato Soto Go ahead, stretch your hands as I pray on this. Now God is greater, our God is stronger. Just play the tune while we pray. Stretch your hands and receive. Shaka Parata Katabaladaba. Lord, we are praying. Please make sure you are praying outside. Stretch your hands towards the screen. Say, Lord, I receive it. I receive it. Shake it back up, roto soto brada brada brada. Shake it up, brada brada. Lift your hands and stretch your hands here and pray. Pray from the depth of your heart.
Lord, let there be testimonies in the name of Jesus. Turn impossible situations into testimonies. Lord, we agree, we agree, we agree in the name of Jesus. Turn impossible situations to testimonies. Stretch your hands and keep receiving. I receive by faith. Come on, pray. All kinds of miracles by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. All kinds of miracles. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your glory. Even as these prayer points, Lord, are lifted up to you, Lord. As your people look up to you, Lord. They look up to you, Lord, from whence their help cometh from my Father. I ask you, Lord, that you send angels, Lord. You send answers, my Father. I pray that God doors that are yet to be opened, be opened. My Father, I pray for healings, Lord. Healings or terminal cases, Lord, let it be turned. Lord, where people said, there's no way, my Father, we pray that doors, Lord, you create streams in wilderness places. My Father, Lord, for people that cast away, my Father, Lord, you make them renowned by the power of your spirit. We ask for your hand to rest upon your people. Lord, we ask that, Lord, miracles, miracles, Lord, will be given to your people. Answers to prayers, Lord, prayer points that have been pending for many years. We ask that, God, doors be open, Lord. Let miracles, Lord, flow into this house in the name of Jesus. Testimonies, we are bound in great ways, Lord, unprecedented miracles. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. We ask for healings. We ask that, Lord, people that are insane, you cause them to be sane in the name of Jesus. We pray for contracts that long delayed. Lord, we pray that, Lord, they will be awarded by the power of your spirit in the name of Jesus. And we pray for a shield of protection over your saints, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we ask for a revitalization of spiritual lives by the power of your spirit. Let the fire of God call, come on cold altars in the name of Jesus. Let there be healings and touches in families in the blessed name of Jesus. We give you praise, we give you glory for the great and mighty things you will do amongst us, Lord. We give you praise, blessed Father, for we know all our prayers have been answered by the power of your spirit. We thank you in the name of Jesus we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe that your request has been turned into a testimony, I'd like you to shout a loud hallelujah. Shout a loud hallelujah. A loud hallelujah. A loud hallelujah. 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 For many of you, it will be like you are dreaming when you will watch one by one by one by one by one by one. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's by the anointing. It's not by English. Burdens are destroyed because of the anointing. Hallelujah. This last segment, you've heard me say it again. This is the most powerful and most impactful segment. If you're not a man of the spirit, you may not understand what I'm saying. Please help them. This is the most powerful of this segment right now. Before we go into this where I begin to prophesy, there are two dimensions to prophecy. There is the revelatory dimension of prophecy. That dimension of prophecy gives you direction. But the stronger dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension. That's when things that are not become by the power of the spoken word. Never joke with the power of prophecy. 
that's the power that created the heavens and the earth he said i prophesied as i was commanded before we do that very quickly everyone inside and outside there are people here tonight who are saying man of god i want to commit my life to the lord i've seen the miracles i've seen the signs and wonders but my way is not right with the lord you know that right now as you're standing here if the trumpet sounds you're not making heaven you know it right now having a christian name is not the same as having a relationship with jesus there are some you've given your heart to the lord at one time please help those under the anointing i tell you there will be a powerful impartation right now i sense a heavy anointing on me already that's why i'm doing this very quickly now if you are here please don't delay us you are saying i want to return home for whatever reason you found yourself living the ways of god and you are saying lord i have heard your word and i'm not ashamed to make jesus my lord there are people in this auditorium young and old there are people by all the overflows right to the roadside no matter how far you are hearing my voice it should not be too far right now i'll just count one to five please run like you are running away from death run like there's fire on the mountain one inside and outside the devil is a liar tonight don't let any spirit stop you sorry hallelujah hallelujah keep coming god bless you you have won it all for me hallelujah hallelujah you have won the victory Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. You have won. Keep coming, keep coming. Please hurry up and catch up with us. Sasa di buchi. Sasa di buchi. When you hear the voice of the Lord, I appreciate every one of you for coming out. This is the way to the cross. Listen, no matter what you achieve in life, if your eternal destiny is not secured, it says, This is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. But he said, this life is in his son. Until you have the son, you do not have that life. Lift your right hand. Forget about who is looking at you. And in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray this prayer from the depth of your heart. You are not reciting a poem. It's not a special number. This is a decision. There's one of you here. You smoke. All these kinds of things, it go and the rest. Huh? But as you pray this prayer, the power is broken over your life. Say after me, as loud as you can from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart and with everything within me. This night, I make Jesus Lord of my life. I repent of my sins. I declare that eternal life comes into my spirit. I am born again. I'm a child of God. From today, the power of sin, the power of the flesh is broken over me. My past is gone and it's over forever. I am a new creation in Christ. In the name of Jesus, the power of sin is broken over my life 
in the name of Jesus I receive of your life in Jesus name I pray now I stretch my hands over you and I declare the power of sin is broken over your life in the name of Jesus every yoke that has tied you down lets you go forever in the name of Jesus I declare that is a new season for you everything that is a habit and a challenge in your life I release you from it right now every covenant and ordinance of darkness that is the foundation of your trouble by the blood of Jesus it is wiped away I set you free I break you free from every wrong association that keeps you in sin in the name of Jesus Christ I pray hallelujah I want to congratulate all of you for making this decision this is the greatest decision you would ever make in your life hallelujah now very quickly so that you catch up with us in this prophetic session I want you to follow the gentlemen waving their hands they will have your details and then we'll follow you up very closely praise the Lord just follow them koinonia celebrate them as they go all of you this way this way just follow the gentlemen now everybody rise please I want you to receive this prophetic word this is the seventh month and the Bible says revive thy walk in the midst of the years hallelujah there is a mystery with the seventh month is the time where God perfects all things as I prophesy to you please I want you to know that there is an anointing that makes it happen hallelujah listen listen don't mind all that nonsense one way to conquer satan is to ignore him all of that rubbish uh, is is the devil works in the realm of the senses by the time you focus all your attention on this drama and these things you will waste your time i know you are trying as ushers just stand around satan does not have authority i want you to know that there is an anointing manifestations are already signs that his power is broken but Satan knows that we walk in the realm of the flesh. So he begins to act around your mind to distract you. When you ignore Satan is one way of conquering him. It does not have the capacity to continue all of this nonsense. Are you getting my point? So this is teaching you so that tomorrow you don't end up wasting your time with all this rubbish and all this drama. Praise the Lord. Lift your hands. I prophesied as I was commanded. You are Yahweh, you are seated on the throne. You are Yahweh, seated on the throne. You are Yahweh, you are seated on the throne. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying right now by the ministry of angels are they not ministering spirits send to minister today that be the heirs of salvation I pray for you every weakness in your life that weakness dies tonight in the name of Jesus every weakness in your life that weakness leaves you tonight in the name of Jesus hallelujah I prophesy to you that Red Sea you are standing before by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in this second half of the year an anointing comes upon you and I prophesy cross every Red Sea cross every Red Sea Cross every Red Sea in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for every student here. Oh, for there is a spirit in man and the inspiration make it men of understanding. I'm praying for you. Some of you, listen. As I pray now, some of you will literally feel like oil being poured upon your head is an impartation of knowledge right now oh god i release an anointing to change the story of students at the count of three let it fall right now one two three take it
Take it. Take it. Take it now. Take it now. That anointing. Receive it for exploits. Shaka ta ta ta. Inside and outside. Take it for exploits. 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 Hallelujah. Everything called stagnation in your life that has forced you to stay in one position while you should be moving right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of prophecy I command stagnation to end now 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 my goodness something is happening to your destiny every night season in your life every wilderness experience that has refused to break forth into the day i speak to you right now your morning arrives finally your morning arrives finally your morning arrives finally hallelujah there is something called favor i don't know if you know it but there is something called favor when the favor of god is upon a man your looks your background your qualifications no longer matter let an anointing of favor right now i see at least 100 people 100 people like fire hundred people right now receive it receive it favor 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 upon your life favor 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 parekete embratata lakata i prophesy by an apostolic anointing favor 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 everyone holding anything that should be given to you for the next level i don't care where they are but i sound an alarm in the spirit that in this month we're entering called august may that be the month where you receive the keys of the next level receive the keys of the next level the mysteries of the next level every spiritual blindness shababa things happen around you you cannot see blood of spiritual vision i pray right now many of you will see like flashes of light as i'm praying right now you will see literally like flashes of light your eyes are opening right now right now right now right now right now by the power of the holy ghost blindness spiritual blindness spiritual blindness be free from it right now be free from it right now be free from it right now hallelujah there are many of us here dreams and visions are prophetic channels where we get insight and direction but for many of us our dreams and visions have either been corrupted or it's no longer there the bible says they will dream dreams it says they will see visions 
Shakataba, lift your hands. There will be an, a restoration anointing right now. I just want you to shout, I receive. Listen, many things will happen to you. Many of you is an activation of the realm of dreams and visions where God will start showing you the blueprint for the next level. Right now, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, as you shout, I receive. Let there be an impartation upon your dream life, upon spiritual visions. One, two, three. Now you receive it. Receive it. Restoration of fire. Fire. Dream dreams. See visions. Dream dreams. See visions. Dream dreams. See visions. Dream dreams. Hallelujah. It says, what do you have in your house? And she said, nothing except a jar of oil. I want to prophesy upon your gift. It's one thing to be gifted, but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed. There are many of you, the gift you have can bring bread to your table, but nobody is seeing it. It's one thing to be gifted. It's one thing to be skilled, but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed. Thou anointed my head with oil and it makes my cup to overflow. I prophesy to you, whatever has covered your gift, whatever has made your gift barren, right now, in the name of Jesus, I anoint your gift now. I anoint your skill now. I anoint your gift now. I anoint your gift now. Eriakata, creativity, creativity. I release it. I release that anointing, creativity, skill, expertise, competence, proficiency. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen anybody who has said it's not your time to manifest that you always remain on the background you clap for others but you are not cursed it's God's desire that every man will also come to the lamb light I pray for you whatever has kept you behind right now in the name of Jesus I command let the light be on you let the light of glory be on you. Hallelujah. Everything you have tried by your strength to do and you have been unable to do throughout half of this year, you have tried by your strength. I'm releasing grace upon your life right now. Go back to that same thing and watch how God will bless you through it. I pray for every ministry here from glory to glory every church represented from honor to honor new dimensions of the anointing in the name of Jesus Christ every business here is time to shine come on every business here I strengthen your hand arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine Lift your hands. One last prayer. Listen. I want to activate the gift of the Spirit. Without the gift of the Spirit upon your life, your life will be barren and unfruitful. It says, For I long to see you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye be established. I pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that the Lord himself something is about to happen to your life right now as I speak Father I come under this apostolic anointing right now 
across the length and breadth in this auditorium and outside at the count of three let there be an activation of spiritual gifts one two three take it take it gift of healing word of knowledge gift of prophecy 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 I activate the prophetic I open your eyes spiritual gifts endowments of the spirit I declare that you are supernatural beginning from tonight in the name of Jesus everywhere you go you are supernatural let the anointing upon this house follow you like a shadow I prophesy to you every anointing that is upon this house from today let it follow you like a shadow whatever the anointing has brought to this house let it bring it to your life hallelujah lift your hands and give him praise father we give you all the praise I assure you you will know that this miracle service was unusual you will know many of you right from this night tomorrow will not reach you start having your testimonies right from this night right from this night favor alerts calls I mean connections mysterious happenings I speak to the spiritual borders of your destiny and in the name of Jesus I command that every gate that has been closed the Bible says your gate shall be continually open so you have a gate your gate shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles I pray for you in the name that is above all names let everything in your life start working for you I command the earth to work for you I command the wind to work for you I command the stars to work for you everything that is a disappointment in your life I change it tonight to a testimony Hallelujah. if you're worshiping with us for the first time keep standing everybody there are many people outside let me speak upon your life personally wherever you are please make your way to the front quickly we have one minute to do this god bless you this is your first time you are most welcome there is a prophecy for you you must carry a signature no stand up keep standing everybody must know you came for koinonia hallelujah listen when you come here we may not give you hampers but we give you an identity you will go back with it and everyone will know that you met the christ make your way to the front koinonia celebrate them glorious glorious god brought them by his spirit dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye